Guys, today we're going to be reviewing a 2020 Graciliano Perez Negra with a cedar top. Now, this master luthier really doesn't need that much of an introduction. I remember years ago, in the early days of social media, those videos of Vicente Amigo playing in Graciliano's workshop going viral, forever making the luthier synonymous with the Latin Grammy Award winning musician. In fact, Vicente used his Graciliano guitar to record his album Tierra. Graciliano was fortunate enough to learn from the legendary guitar builder Miguel Rodríguez from a very young age and the guitar that we're going to be looking at today was actually built from stock that Graciliano inherited from Miguel. Graciliano established his workshop in 1986 and now builds guitars with his brother Jose in the heartland of flamenco culture, Cordoba. A huge thanks goes to our good friend Diego who kindly sent this guitar for us to review so please continue supporting these videos by checking out his store on Reverb.com. Okay guys so let me walk you through the guitar and just check out that red Canadian cedar top. Man, when I first saw this, it, it really, really impressed me. The grain just really pops out. You can see the differences between those dark patches, the light patches. I just think this looks stunning and it's such a unique top. We've got that beautiful embellished saddle there. Going to the rosette and <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this is a rosette. I'm not quite sure what more I need to say, but yep, I adore the rose patterns there and overall just an impressive stunning top to the guitar and moving on to the headstock here i hope you can appreciate just some of the beautiful craftsmanship on this guitar i've got to admit super ornate headstocks aren't my vibe personally but i know that there are many people out there who are really going to vibe with this the headstock looks slightly narrower than what i'm used to seeing as well and i think it just overall gives the guitar this kind of nice slick look and there's just a couple of details on this guitar that i absolutely adore hopefully the camera is picking it up but on the side of the headstock just here hopefully you can see this kind of red layer of wood and also on the headstock here just on the inside just a lovely detail to the rear we can see those tuning pegs this nice matte white pearl style finish coming down to the rear of the guitar where we have that Indian rosewood just looking stunning. Again, just these little details, you know, the contrast to the wood, um, the red wood going down here and also bordering the side of the guitar. Um, overall, it's, it's just a stunning, a stunning instrument to look at. And guys, just to note that the scale of this guitar is 650. Here's another shot of the back. Bit tricky to get nice clear shots because the, the guitar is so shiny, it's so reflective, but I hope this can just give you a bit of an idea of those beautiful uh, colors to the woods. And here is a side view of the guitar. Now the neck, the neck is interesting, it's quite unique. It's not, it's not narrow, it's not small, but it's also not chunky by any means. The back is quite flat, some necks are quite rounded, but this is quite a flat neck. And honestly, it creates a really nice playing experience. Um, honestly, in terms of guitars I've played, this is probably the most comfortable guitar I've ever played. Just It, it almost plays itself, and hopefully you can appreciate the action there, but you know the action is super low. I think Diego said a 2.7 millimeter action. So again, just you know, really at the top there in terms of playability. And then showing you guys a side shot of the body of the guitar, which again, that Indian rosewood just really pops out. So guys, now you've had a full look at this guitar, let me know what you think about the aesthetics of it. I mean, I, I absolutely adore these details, really unique looking guitar for me. And honestly, I find it super impressive. <laughs> Thank you. 